welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Maddie and I'm a content creator and fashion model based in New York City. Um, today we have a pretty laid back vlog. Dylan is currently not home, so today I am going to get my hair done. Um, it's like super grown out here. Let me show you guys. It needs to be done so badly. Um, so I'm gonna go get my hair done and then I really wanted to go to the gym this afternoon, but the weather channel is saying like, we are gonna get really bad weather. So love that for me. Regardless, I'm just gonna take you guys along for the ride today. So let's just get into it. So of course, as soon as I sit down to start filming this video is when my neighbors wanna go outside and start screwing with their motorcycle. He just left. So today we are just doing a super quick, simple makeup look as I have to get my hair done in a few hours. And then after that, we're gonna go to the gym. I have some work to catch up on. Pretty simple, easy going vlog today. Um, so yeah, let's just get into Taking it. Taking this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I love this stuff. Just taking some eye cream from Versed Skin. For moisturizer, I'm just taking, I think it's pronounced Lange. We're going for a super lightweight makeup look today. So no primer. We're just gonna go straight in with this Morphe skin tint in the color Hint of Pecan. We brush. I'm kind of nervous because the weather channel is predicting really, really bad um, weather tonight and potentially a tornado and Dylan's not home. So love that for me, which I also wanted to go to the gym after my hair appointment. So hopefully the weather holds off until then. Now taking this Say Cream Bronzer, I'm just going to quickly contour my face. Now taking this NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Light to Vanilla, um, I ran out of my full size one so I'm using this mini until I can go to the store. Taking my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend it all in. Now going in with my Becca Be The Light palette, I'm just going to take the bronzer color that's in here and put some on my eyes. Now taking this new like 4-in-1 makeup pen from Ali, Ali Op, I think that's how you say it. I got this in a PR package and I actually really like it. Like you know in school with like the different colored like click pens? It's so cute. So there's a black one for eyeliner, a brown one for eyebrows, a pink one for lip liner, and then a lighter color for highlight. So taking this little nifty pen, I'm going to do a small winged eyeliner with the brown and also fill in my brows with the brown. Using the 24 hour benefit brow gel, I'm just going to brush my brows up. For blush, I'm taking my usual Milk Makeup Cream Blush in the color Work. For lips, I'm just gonna go in with this NYX lip liner in the color Suede. To go over that, I'm just gonna take this Clinique Moisture Surge Lip Treatment. Now I'm just putting on some fake little freckles to kind of just tie the whole look together. I'm just gonna take this Benefit Bad Gal Mascara. This is today's final look. Um, it's only 10.30 and I thought that this video would take me way longer to film than it actually did. So I'm probably going to 
binge watch Queer Eye. If you haven't seen Queer Eye on Netflix, come on, you're missing out. It is amazing. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it's currently 11.38 and my appointment not until 1, but I have no food at my house so we are currently at Starbucks and I'm trying to decide if I want to eat here or if I want to get something else. Like I'm actually freaking starving. So I think I'm just going to get a sandwich here. Um, hi, I had a mobile order for Maddie. Maddie, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's ready. Thank you. So I ordered a white chocolate mocha and a ciabatta bread sandwich with turkey pesto and roasted bell peppers. get like severe I don't want to say severe but like does anyone else get like really really anxious when going places like you don't want to be late and then you leave like an additional 30 minutes to an hour early because like you know you have to find parking and in New York like you just can't find parking here so I get like super anxious because I hate being late to things and then I get even more anxious because I'm like oh my god Am I gonna have enough time to find parking? What if I don't find parking? Especially when it's a place I've never been to. Then. Like, what's there to stress about? Is it me or am I just crazy? Guys, I made it, I parked. Um, I'm gonna go in in about 10 minutes. I am going to try to film. Um, I have to ask the hairstylist as this is my first time meeting her, just to make sure she's okay with it. But regardless, I'll show you guys the transformation in a little bit. All right, guys, we are back. And this is the finished product. Got like a little trim, some long layers, and then just a little face frame. Originally, I was going to go to the gym, but because of like the predicted bad weather tonight, I'm thinking of just going get some food and having a self care night. You can't tell I'm currently in my bathroom. Clearly I didn't go to the gym. Um, I was driving and literally within like five minutes, it got like crazy dark outside. So I decided to come home. Um, I also picked up Wendy's for dinner. Super not healthy, but super good. So no regrets. Um, and now I'm thinking that I want to, I want a fake tan. So I think we're going to use this today. I think we're going to use this. And then I just have this like self tanning mitt from Amazon and then for my hands and my feet, I use the Isle of Paradise self tanning water in the color dark. 10 out of 10, cannot live without this. Then for my face, I mix the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in medium with a little bit of moisturizer. Moisturizer is key. So I mix this together and then I put it on my face after I wash it beautiful it literally is beautiful in this light my hair kind of looks super blonde like blonder than i would have liked it to <sighs> to take off my makeup using some c to feel makeup wipes now i'm going to quickly jump into the shower get out i'm going to put a little bit of moisturizer on like my feet, my hands, my knees, my elbows. And I personally like to do it a little bit under my armpit as well, because I feel like when you self tan underneath your armpit, it's like one of the first places that gets really splotchy. So I find if I put moisturizer, moisturizer, I find if I put lotion on 
all my dry areas first. You don't look as streaky. This lighting literally look makes me look so blonde, but guys, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.